All right, let's have a look at the Ward Brother Construction highlights from this semifinal matchup between number five seed Laval and number one seed Saint Effects from Antigonish, Nova Scotia. And pretty much right from the opening kickoff, it was all Rouge A. Or. And in the opening moments, in the ninth minute, and Charlotte Beaulieu converting on a penalty kick. And again, we just saw this speed of Laval on display all game. A wonderful mm -hmm. contest for Frédéric Ferland. Also, Maude Laliberté had the hard running from the inside. Yeah, they were really hard to tackle. This finally set up the next try for Laval. And number 12, Marie Thibault. And uh, <laughs> she got try. it down, we'll say. Yes. And uh, we'll call that a try. That made it 8 nothing at the half for Laval again. Uh, Furlan made her presence felt all game long. And a lot of great runs yeah. by Furlan. And then just really good keeping the ball alive and, and, and quick out of the rucks and lots of pressure. As impressive as the offense was for Laval, I love their defense. Mm -hmm. And uh, the front row, Maud La Liberté, Rosalie Lapage, Tremblay, Lori Ull, Deborah Kovalenko, Anissa Noor, Aline Cote, they all played a heck of a game for the Rouge Or. Yeah, they had to stick in there and, um, and against some big girls and, and just were able to play with a lot of heart and a lot of um, tenacity. At the break, again, it was 8 nothing as Juan Alfonso with a big tackle for St. FX, but getting the whip and then getting the try, finally, uh, Furlan, who had lots of great runs in the first half, makes the try for Laval and the convert off the crossbar for Beaulieu. And Laval just kept charging from there. It was a 13 nothing score after that try. And St. FX had to defend pretty much the entire match as an inside run yeah, beautiful by Thibault. On that pass. Brought it down close to the goal line. There's Elan Cote with a carry. Laval just got great uh, performances up and down the lineup. There's another run from Furlan. Yeah, she had a good game too. And when uh, we haven't seen much from the backs in these uh, championships due to the conditions as Maude Laliberté got the try at the 42nd minute mark, making it 18 to nothing for Laval. But uh, Laval seemed to find their footing for the most part today. And a great game by Justine Peltier, who really uh, directed her team well from the scrum half position. Great yeah. passing. And final try of the game going to Veronique Gagné. And an unconverted try made it a 23 to nothing final score. Laval Rouge A. Or looking for its first gold medal at the Women's Rugby National Championships going up against another school desperate to find its first goal gold as Ottawa awaits in tomorrow's final here in Lethbridge, Alberta.